burning relentlessly in the heart of the desert for over 50 years, this gigantic fiery crater looks like a movie set or the entrance to the underworld. But it is in fact a real place in Turkmenistan known under various names including the door to hell, the gates of hell, the Darvaza gas crater and the shining of Karakum. But how exactly was this massive fiery crater formed? And why has it been burning non-stop for decades? Join me on this exploration of the Gates of Hell crater to discover its intriguing origins and features, understand its environmental impact, and uncover other similar fascinating geological structures around the world. Hello and welcome back to Wonders of Heritage. And if you're new here, I'm Maria and in this channel we use science to explore and understand the many wonders of our planet. Today we're exploring a very interesting geological formation, one that is both natural and man-made, the door to hell in Turkmenistan. In order to understand this fascinating geological wonder, we first need to examine the geology of the region. The Door to Hell crater is located in Turkmenistan's remote Karakum Desert near the village of Darvaza, hence the name the Darvaza Gas Crater. It is located about 160 miles or 260 kilometers north of Ashgabat, the capital of Turkmenistan. The Darvaza Gas Crater lies in the Amudarya Basin, a province stretching across parts of both Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan that is rich in natural resources like oil and gas. And it's these natural resources, specifically the methane gas, that fuels the gate of hell. But before we get into the details of how and why the fire keeps burning in the crater, let's travel back in time by a few decades to see how the door to hell was formed. The exact origins of the door to hell remain uncertain due to missing or classified records from the Soviet era. However, the most widely circulated story about the origins of Darvaza crater dates back to 1971 when Soviet geologists were drilling for natural gas in Turkmenistan's Karakum desert. As they were drilling, the ground suddenly gave way, creating a massive crater of about 226 feet or 69 meters across and about 98 feet or 30 meters deep, exposing a vast underground reservoir of natural gas. Concerned about the potential impact of the dangerous methane gas on the nearby communities, the scientists set the gas on fire to prevent it from escaping the hole. They expected it to burn out within weeks, but as it turns out, the methane resources were even more abundant than they expected. The crater continued burning for decades and it still burns today. Though by some accounts, the flames are currently much smaller than they once were, so maybe sometime in the future they will die out. So if you want to visit the gates of hell, now would be the time to do it. Would you do it? Would you go on a holiday there? I would definitely like to visit the door to hell. Let me know in the comments if you would also like to see these eternal flames for yourself before they stop being so eternal. But what causes these flames? The flames at the Darvaza gas crater are caused by natural methane gas escaping from the surrounding rocks through fractures and permeable rock units whose interconnected pore spaces form channels that allow the gas to pass through them. As the gas seeps into the crater, especially where loose rock fragments and debris called talus meet the crater walls, it ignites creating thousands of small flames. These flames flicker across the crater walls and floor, making it look like Earth itself is breathing fire, thus creating a fiery spectacle that resembles the opening of the door to hell. While these flames are definitely a captivating sight, we must now shift our attention to the environmental impact of all these fires from the gates of hell. The continuous burning of natural gas at the door to hell has had several significant environmental consequences, both locally and on a wider scale. First, we need to address the potential impact on climate change. 
The burning of natural gas releases large amounts of carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. These are powerful greenhouse gases whose long-term emission contributes to climate change. Besides these greenhouse gases, the fire also releases harmful air pollutants like sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and fine particles. All these chemicals can degrade the air quality and affect the health of nearby people animals and plants. The extreme heat generated by the crater may also damage local habitats and disrupt native ecosystems. Additionally, the original drilling incident that created the crater may have led to groundwater contamination from leaked chemicals or drilling fluids, posing significant environmental risks as well. If you want to dive deeper into the dangers facing our natural heritage, check out this other video where I explore the big biggest threats to natural heritage. Due to all these environmental concerns at Darvaza Crater, the Turkmen government has been considering closing the site to limit further ecological harm, though no action has been taken yet. Now that we understand what's happening at the gates of hell, let's explore other similar geological formations around the world. But before moving on to discussing other burning pits, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos about the many wonders of our planet. We can find geological features similar to the door to hell in other places around the world, including Indonesia, the US, and Azerbaijan. The Kawa Ijen volcano in East Java, Indonesia, is famous for its burning vents, where sulfur gas is released from the volcano's vents. When this gas escapes and meets the oxygen-rich air, it ignites and burns. What makes this site truly magical magical is what happens next, especially at night. The result is a breathtaking sight, glowing blue flames that have captured the fascination of visitors from around the world. At Eternal Flame Falls in New York, a small waterfall hides a magical yet natural surprise. A flickering flame fueled by methane gas seeping from underground shale formations, creating an enchanting, fiery spectacle behind the water curtain. Yanar Dag, or the Burning Mountain of Azerbaijan, is a a fiery hillside that's been blazing for centuries, fueled by natural gas seeping from underground and igniting in the open air, like the door to hell but on a slant. Centralia, a ghost town in Pennsylvania, USA, has been burning beneath the surface since 1962. It all began with an underground coal mine fire whose flames spread through a vast network of mining tunnels. As the fire raged below, cracks opened in the ground, releasing toxic gases and smoke into the town, making it uninhabitable and forcing its residents to evacuate. Amazingly, the fire is still burning to this day. While each geological site has its own unique origins and features, they do have some similarities to the door to hell, such as their naturally occurring gas ignitions and their environmental impact. If you enjoyed learning about the door to hell, then you might also enjoy learning about this other geological marvel of our planet, Salar de Uyuni in Bolivia. Salar de Uyuni is the world's largest natural mirror and the world's biggest salt flat. So if you want to learn more about its secrets, then click on this link to watch the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!